Number seven, Ernest is going to go under center this time. Mayer's off to the right, motion on the left. Here's a snap. Ernest back to throw, looking deep, looking deep. He's going depth down there, and it's way over everybody's head down to the 15-yard line. As uh, looks like uh, that was Carter Brink down there. Nope, I'm sorry, it's Braden Hayes with great coverage down there. Uh, much better coverage there, Kyle. Looks like they tried doing uh, almost that uh, concept of three goes. You know, you send three guys down the vertical and see if one guy pops open. Uh, but great coverage by the CSP defense right there. Yeah, good job by uh, by CSP there. Uh, it's now brings up third and long for uh, for Wilson and for those watching online. I believe that uh, I believe that we got the uh, stream uh, back up after uh, after uh, getting blocked. I guess. And I think the background music was not liked by Facebook. So third and fourteen here. Low snap. Ernest. He looks like a screen play. He's going to be sacked all the way back at the thirty-eight yard line. Alex Barmore right there. As looks like Wilson was trying to set up a screen play, and the defense ran it perfectly. He had nowhere to throw the ball, and Baltimore takes the quarterback down for a big loss. So the CSP defense once again stepping up, and this is going to be fourth and a mile for Wilson as they're going to have to punt the football away again. Yeah, great job by by Alex there. And the key for Alex on what he did there is he did not, a lot of times when when uh, defensive ends get in like that, they want to jump in the air to try to block a a, a pass. Alex did not. He stayed on his feet. Uh, actually, ran through the tackle and did a great job of uh, of uh, recording the sack. Looks like we're going for a punt block right here. Right up the middle, and it's tipped, and it gets it off right there, down about the 50 yard line, and it takes a great bounce to the oh, all the way down to the uh, 40 yard line right there. And uh, looks like we actually got part of the football on it, and Wilson gets a big break with that going all the way down to the uh, CSP 40 yard line. And we'd like to take a moment and thank some more of our sponsors. Uh, Wolfpack Football on the channel 98.9, Corey Federal Credit Union. Thank you, Vouchers Dodge, for your support. Cat needs quarterback in here. Triple left shotgun formation. And it uh, looks like we got a false start right there by Barmore. There's some confusion on the play. And that's going to be a five yard penalty on the Wolfpack offense. We'll take this moment to thank uh, first place Autoglass. Uh, Wolfpack Football and the Sports Stream thanks them for their support. Owner in Glass Tech, Robert Leonard, installs automotive glass and works with all major insurance companies. Channel 98 support thanks First Place Auto Glass for their support. Tate in the shotgun, looking right, looking. Plenty of time, plenty of time. Fires the ball over the middle, and it's caught on oh, a nice throw by Tate. And uh, I can't see the number on that, and that is number 10, 18? Yep. Uh, Wait, I don't see the number, but anyway. It looks like, yeah, number. it's either number 10 or number 18. I think it was, yeah, number 18. Yep, That's Braden uh, Hayes. Braden Hayes. Uh, Tate fired a fastball over the middle, and he caught it right there, sitting down the zones for about a nice 11-yard pickup right there. Great job by the offensive line. He had plenty of time to uh, to throw that. Second and fourth, Tate shotgun, Roth in motion across the formation. Tate's going to take off running across right side. He's got some room. Across the 45, across the 50, down to the 49. And he's going to pick up about 15 yards right there. Tate Catney is taking the ball off the right side, and CSP crosses midfield. And that might be the last play of the third quarter. 23 seconds left, but CSP is rushing the line of scrimmage. I'd like to see them get one more play here. They kind of got some momentum going. Yeah, I agree, Andy. Tate shotgun trips left, looking left, looking left, fires it. It's Bryce for that screen over there, and he makes the catch, but it's a low throw, so he has to go low. It only gains probably about one or two yards right there um, as the throw is a little low. And that will be the last play of the third quarter. Yeah. Oh, they're actually going to rule it incomplete here. So, uh, I'm going to say that the pass was incomplete. So there's 2.7 seconds left here on the clock. They let the clock go down to fix it for six seconds here in the third quarter. Uh, but second and 10 from the uh, 49 yard line for CSP. Hinsdale, Hayes out to the left side. Roth, Barmore's off to the right. Tate's in the backfield. Awesome White joins him back there. Shotgun formation, snap. Tate looking to throw, looking over the middle, nothing. Takes up the middle, steps up. And he's going to be, breaks a tackle back at the 47, but can't break the second defender. Uh, he's going to be sacked for about a four-yard loss right there by Tate. As uh, excellent coverage by Wilson down the field. and really didn't have anywhere to go, it looks like. And uh, with that, the third quarter ends with the same score we started with. Still 27-14 to 14, uh, CSP on top. And uh, we'll go to some of our sponsors. 
Coverage of Wolfpack football on the channel 98.9 Corey Federal Credit Union Sports Stream is provided in part by Arlene's Dutch Kitchen. At 104 East Main Street in Sherman, Arlene's offers breakfast, lunch, dinner, and Amish-style baked goods. Call them at 716-234-4002. Find them on Facebook. The channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Arlene's Dutch Kitchen for their support of Wolfpack football this year. We'd also like to thank Dwayne Woods Napa and Sherman as their nurse supporter of the Wolfpack broadcast. Woods offers Napa auto parts for almost anything, including small engines. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Woods Auto Parts, Napa, and Sherman, New York for their support of the Wolfpack football this season. Well, Kyle, I mean, uh, that was um, a lot different than the first half. Uh, offense has kind of moved the ball, but then sputtered with penalties and... Uh, that's kind of the big theme of it. Both teams, the penalties kind of sat themselves back. Uh, a nice 30-yard uh, reception wiped out by uh, Alex Barmore on a uh, offensive pass interference and a couple false start penalties. So uh, no score in the third quarter. We're still 27-14 to 14 as we're going to start the third quarter here. Yeah, and I would say, um, you know, that, um, that quarter was defined by uh, defenses and a little bit of uh, CSP self-inflicted wounds. Um, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's 27-14 uh, CSP with one quarter to go. And um, we'll see if uh, CSP can find their, find their rhythm here. It's going to be tough uh, on a third and uh, 15. Yeah, both defenses made some really good adjustments in that third quarter. Uh, Catanese under center. He's going to fake it to the left side. He's going to roll it to his left. Out runs the defender. He's got some room over there. He's going to take off running across the 50, 45, 40. Knocked out of bounds right at the 39-yard line. And based on that spot, that should be good enough for a Wolfpack first down. Just waiting on confirmation from the officials. And, uh... Yeah, it looks like a first should down. Should be. Yep, there it is. First down. Nice little 15, 16-yard run by Tate. And yeah, you know what I liked about that, Kyle, is you can already see the young quarterback growing on it. Once he saw the lane right there, he just went off and looked. I think there was a receiver out there, but he was covered. And Tate said, I'm going to put my foot in the ground and get the yardage. And going quick here, Roth off the right side. He's got to land at the middle, across the 30, down the 25, down the 24-yard line. And uh, that should be another CSP Wolfpack first down as Gabe Roth gets his first carry of the day and picks up 14 yards. CSP is going to go no huddle here. Yeah, and you can see CSP's got a little momentum here. They're going really fast and uh, putting a lot of pressure on Wilson's defense. Tate going to fake it off to right. Roth looking left, right. He's got a man out there, and it's going to be caught by Bryce Hinsdale. He takes it across the 10-yard line. should be a first down. We do have a penalty marker on the field. Uh, if the play stands, it's a 12-yard pass from Tate to Bryce, and we've got offensive holding Yep, right at the line of scrimmage right there. I didn't get a number, but uh, yeah, I think maybe it 50. might have been... Uh might have been Gabe Roth. I heard him. I thought I heard him say 26. 26. But okay. I could be. Uh, yeah, he could be wrong there. So that's going to be a 10-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. So uh, they'll probably set up about. Uh, so it's a front of the line of scrimmage in high school. You know, just everybody knows. I always like to say this every year. Holding penalties are from the spot of the penalty, no matter what. So if it's five yards behind the line of scrimmage, it's a 15-yard penalty essentially. Yeah. So looks like first we'll call first and 20. Tate's going to go shotgun right here. White's in the back here with him. Barmore, Hinsdale to the left. Tate looking to throw a screen play out there. It's Bryce. He's got to catch out the 35. Across the 30. He's got a block right there. 25, 20. Down the left side line. Finally brought down at about the 14-yard line. And uh, we'll wait on the spot. But that's going to be close for a first down. As that's going to be a 18 to 20-yard pickup right there. Looks like they are a couple yards short. Uh, but that's that bubble screen we've seen all day, Kyle. And uh, Bryce did a nice job getting out there. And I didn't see who made the block out there. But it's an excellent block out there to spring him. Yeah, that bubble screen has been uh, has been good for us pretty much all day long, and we'll see what uh, second short here. It looks like another false start right here. I don't see who. Tate was going to be in the shotgun. Five-yard penalty, Yep, and there's a false start on the Wolfpack right here. Barmore's going to stay split out left. Hinsdale's going to join them. Uh, White's in the backfield with Tate. He's got, uh, looks like Gabe Roth to the right and Carter Brink out there. Tate calling the play. Hinsdale motion to the right, white in the backfield. Trips right now, one to the left. Tate going to run the ball up the middle right there. He's got a block right there. He's got open lane across the middle. Inside the 5 10, touchdown, Wolfpack. Tate Catanese from 20 yards out takes it in. And the Wolfpack go up 33 to 14. Yeah, great job by Tate there. Great job by the offensive line. 
uh, that motion of Bryce uh, took some defenders uh, with him. Uh, they were over. They had uh, overloaded on the um, what would be the offense or the uh, right hand side of the offense. The defense is the left hand side, uh, which made the um, the run up the middle or to the left uh, very open for for Tate and uh, extra point here for Bryce. Bryce on kick it and it's uh, into the uh, offensive line. It looks like a not a good hold, not a good kick. So extra points can be no good. So the score is going to remain 33 to 14, and this is where Kyle Wishman will instant replay because there was an offensive lineman, I think it was John Watson who had a great seal block on that play uh, that really sprung Tate for that 20-yard touchdown. And I like to throw out uh, love to the offensive lineman when you can <laughs> because they're doing all the dirty That's work right. out there. That's right. And uh, they don't get the recognition on it. Yeah, um, I would, uh, and from a positional standpoint, uh, Andy John Watson. That would make sense, John Watson. He's, I believe, he's the left. Uh, left tackle or left guard one of the two and um but really just an, an overall nice job by that offensive line uh, we were able to run the ball throw the ball tate had plenty of time and uh, and got a much needed uh much needed touchdown there yep and like we said 1058 left in the fourth quarter csp has gone up 33 to 14 uh, as tate uh t- that's the second touchdown of the day he scored one in the second quarter as uh Tate uh, and Trent, the two T's, have uh, accounted for all touchdowns today. Uh, Bryce is going to kick the ball off here, and uh, Wilson's going to send Jack Mayer back deep again to receive this kick. You know, and Kyle, with uh, Bryce's leg this year, do you have an estimate on field goal range you think he has? Not that hopefully we don't settle for them. Yeah. But. So he's uh, he's pretty, I mean, he's almost 100% from 35. Uh, I'd say from 40 he can, um, you know, he's, he's uh, probably 50-50. And uh, anything over that, it's questionable. And that's a great kick by Bryce down to about the 15-yard line, and it had a little hang time on it. And it looks like uh, Brandon Keith once again down there in the coverage, and Wilson's going to actually be pinned back inside their 30-yard line. It looks like about the 28-yard line right there as uh, good coverage there by the CSP kickoff team right there. So the Lakemen will take over at their own, we'll call it 28-yard line. And we'll take this moment to thank some more of our sponsors. Coverage of Wolfpack football on the channel 98.9 Federal Credit Union Sports Stream is provided in part by Arlene's Dutch Kitchen. 104 East Main Street in Sherman, Arlene's offers breakfast, lunch, dinner, and an Amish-style baked goods. 716-234-4002. Ernest is going to hand the ball off to Jack Mayer once again. He's going to take up the middle. Nice little gain right there. He's going to pick up seven, six or seven yards. Looks like the middle linebacker, Lucas, is on the tackle right there. Uh, but a good positive uh, start to the drive for the Lakemen. Yeah, if you're Wilson, you'll you'll take that on first down. It uh, gives you second and four and uh, really opens up the playbook for Coach Atlas. And uh, and we have seen some uh, some different plays from uh, from Wilson here in the, uh, in the latter part of the first half and into the second half. And we want to thank Arlene's Dutch Kitchen for their support this season. Motion here by the Lakemen. 42 comes across the motion. Ernest is going to hand the ball off to Mayor Gaines. Men in the backfield. He's going to go absolutely nowhere. And there's a penalty on the play. We'll see what that is. Uh, looks like Travis Owens, I think it is, back there. Yeah, and Anthony Coppola again. Uh, yeah, it's a face there. mask. I kind of wondered the hand was up high. Oh, was it? Face yep. mask? Face mask. So that's going to be uh, 15 yards and a first down for the Lakemen. Uh, it's just bad break on it. You know, you're in the backfield so quick, you're trying to grab the running back anywhere you can. So, uh, But once again, penalties kind of hurting the Wolf Pack today, you know. Had three turnovers, and they've probably pushed in six, eight, maybe even ten penalties so far. Uh, but that's a big break for the Lakemen as they're facing a third and long, and now it's first and ten from the uh, 47-yard line here. Yeah, right at midfield. So they're they're getting to a point of where it's uh, four-down territory for them, particularly with the... Uh, particularly down uh, 33-14 with uh, just over, just under 10 minutes remaining. Ernest is going the shotgun. Twins right, twins left, looking left. Quick screen. He's got number four out there. There's two defenders out there, and uh, he's going to be able to break one tackle, and then White brings him down about the 50-yard line. Really good job by the CSP defense to limit that to about a two-yard gain right there as uh, the Lakemen try to hit that quick-hitting play out there. Yeah, I like the play call. The problem, Andy, is, is there's just no blockers out there for him. It was... It was one on two as far as uh, Lakeman versus Wolfpack, and uh, you know, as an offensive player, you don't like your chances 
uh, chances yeah. much there. Now, you, the, the, on the screen plays, it's your second receiver who has to make that block who makes or breaks the play. If it's not a good block, if the screen play goes nowhere, they're the one that's critical to success of a bubble screen. Ernest can go under center here. He's got twins right. It's going to be a handoff to Mayer off the left side. I'm sorry, it's actually number seven back there. He's going to gain maybe two yards down to about the 50 yard line, and they're going to blow it dead with four momentum. And uh, that's only about a two yard gain. And uh, the Lake men are going to face third and long here. I, I got to guess, though, with you know clock approaching nine minutes, it's uh, four down territory. And I'm kind of surprised, Kyle, they're running the ball here because they've had some success in the passing game down the field. Well, they, they've had pe- success in the passing, and they, they had when they. Well, the the touchdown they did score on the offensive side, they went no huddle and yep. they went fast and and got uh, got some momentum. This entire second half they've been huddling, which I'm a little surprised about. Ernest shotgun formation. He's got Mayer in the backfield with him. Twins right, twins left. Looking to throw, looking left, looking left. Plenty of times. Got a man over the middle. It's incomplete down at about the 35 yard line. As he is looking for his receiver, nice coverage down there. Looks like uh, number 20, Dylan Michael. And uh, the linebacker, Lucas Lissandro, was uh, ch- playing trail technique. And big decision for uh, Wilson here, fourth and seven from the 50. I mean, if you punt this, I don't, I mean, you're kind of giving up on the game. So i got to imagine they're going for this. Yeah, I don't love, I don't love um, fourth and, uh, and eight. I might have tried on that third down play to get, get a, you know, some of it back. Um, but, you know, you, you punt it and you try to, you hope your defense could make a stop and, uh, but Coach Atlas is choosing to go uh, to go for it here on fourth down. Fourth and seven, right from the 50-yard line. Looks like CSP is going to blitz. Bad snap on it. Quarterback picks it up. And he's sacked right there at the 47-yard line. And that is, I can't get the number on that. There's a crowd down there. Looks like it might be Anthony Capello with a uh, stop in the backfield on a bad snap. So turnover on downs for the Wilson Lake men. And CSP is going to take over in plus territory at the 47-yard line. Yeah, good job by the defense there, and and now you would expect uh, CSP to to uh, pound the rock here and uh, tr- eat up some uh, some valuable time, I would think. Dwayne Woods at Woods Auto Parts Napa and Sherman supports this broadcast of Wolfpack football. Woods offers Napa Auto Parts for almost anything, including small engines. Channel 98.9 supports. Thanks Woods Auto Parts Napa for their support. So CSP breaks the huddle here. We'll apologize if there's a little static on the headsets here. we got a little wind coming in now with the system moving in. But Tate's going to go under center here. Motion across the formation. It's going to be a fake jet sweep. Here's a counterplay to White off the right side. And he's going to pick up a couple, uh, but Wilson is ready for it. So that's going to set up second and eight from the 45-yard line. Yeah, there's that counterplay that we talked about earlier in the game. That uh, has a tendency to be very successful. And... Um, We'll uh, we'll need that next week against uh, Randolph for sure. Tate uh, under center once again. He's got twins tight to the left. It's gonna be a sweet play out here. To uh, looks like Trent out here. He's got some blockers out there. Across the 45 yard line, puts his head down, drags the defender down to the 41 yard line. He's gonna pick up four, maybe five yards on the play. And uh, that was a good run there, actually. Gabe Roth on the play to uh, get some yardage where there wasn't much room. Yeah, Gabe and, and Trent are a nice little combination of uh, backs, and then you throw Austin White in there. Uh, Austin and Gabe are more uh, downhill runners, uh, a little bit more, uh, you know, they enjoy contact, whereas Trent's more speed, uh, get a little bit more elusiveness. So um, CSP's got a little nice little uh, thunder and lightning type of action going on. Now you've got Austin and Gabe both in the backfield here for this play. And so it comes in motion. Tate under center here. It's going to be a fake sweep. Here's that counter play off the middle. And it's going to be uh, Austin across the field. 25, 20, 15, 10. Touchdown, Wolfpack. Austin White with a 42-yard touchdown run on a counter play up the middle. And that's going to extend the Wolfpack lead 39-14. to 14. Yeah, great job for the by the guys up front. Great job by uh, Trent, or I'm sorry, Tate and and um, and Gabe make, uh, selling out that fake, and uh, really nice job by Austin running downhill. Once he cleared that uh, that first uh, wave of uh, wave of folks, he uh, he uh, turned it on a little bit and uh, was able to get to the end zone. Bryce sends it on for the extra point. Tate will hold. Snap, a little low. Tate gets it down. Kick is up. Plenty of distance. Kick is good. Bryce Hinsdale extends the lead 40 to 14. And with that, CSP has taken a commanding lead in this game. 7.32 left in the third quarter, and they are up 40 to 14. 
and we'll take this moment to thank some more of our sponsors. Coverage of Wolfpack football on the channel 98.9 Corey Federal Credit Union Sports Stream, provided in part by White Land Surveying and Climber. Providing land surveys for Chautauqua and Cattaraugus counties in New York and Erie, and Warren and Crawford counties in Pennsylvania. Call them at 716-499-8410. Find them online at mwhitepls.com. Channel 98.9 thanks White Land Surveying for their support of Wolfpack football this year. We also want to thank Bush Septic Services provide support this year. Serving the local area since 1959, please call Austin White at 716-355-8843 or look them up at bushsepticservices.com. Channel 98.9 Sportstream thanks Bush Septic Services for their support during the 2022 season. And um, I think we might have a dehydrated official here. And it looks like we have a trainer down there and officials walking off drinking water, so I'm not sure if something happened. As it is quite humid today, it's in the 80s, and uh, we do want to thank the officials for out here for uh, working hard for us. Even if we don't always agree with the calls, it is a you know thankless service they do, and you know it is a issue this year. We actually have a Thursday night game uh, because there's an official shortage this year. They don't have enough guys to uh, work all the games. Yeah, and I um, you know I, a week ago. Uh, Andy, it was some question of whether we'd even have uh, football games to start the the year because the uh, the officials union and uh, section six were at odds and did not have a contract, and um, the uh, the officials uh, union had elected to sit out the first two weeks, and uh, luckily the uh, state of New York uh, stepped in and. Uh, worked on negotiating a, a, an agreement so uh, allowing us to play today so it looks like the officials are going to change to a uh, four-man rotation here as uh, the one official is going to take a break here and uh, 732 left in the game uh, fourth quarter CSP leading 40 to 14 Bryce Hinsdale is going to kick off here and support for coverage of Wolfpack football is uh, brought to us also by Triple E Manufacturing and Design Triple E Manufacturing Design offers equine products promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. Located at 117 Osborne Street in Sherman and at EEEMFG.com. Call them at 800-295-4282. Channel 98.9 supports EEE Manufacturing and Design for their support this football season. Bryce with a kick, nice height down there. It's going to be fielded about the 15-yard line. Going back to 34, Jack Mayer. Across the 20s, going to be met right there. He'll be tackled by a host of CSP Wolfpack defenders. As looks like number 58 there, Caden Beckrink, and uh, number 42, and we get a name on that number right there, is that is... Um, yeah, I don't know who 42 Bryce P Posker. Posker, um, yeah. And uh, nice coverage there by CSP uh, defenders on that, and a uh, nice kick by Bryce to get some height under that and allow the defenders to get down there. Lake men will come on the field, 726 left, trailing 40, 14 to 40. We'll see if they open up the offense a little bit here. Yeah, I would think you'll, you're going to see them put the ball in the air here to try to, uh, you know, they're going to need to get a, a, a score relatively quickly, and uh, and they have had some success throwing the football, so wouldn't be surprised to to see them come out here, And although this formation would lead you to believe. It's an old school this, formation. This is, uh, this is Coach Howard McMullen formation. Here. I formation handoff to off the right side of number seven right there. And it's going to be strung out there and tackled looks like by number, looks like nine out there. And that's going to be Devin Johnson with a tackle. And uh, looks like number 22, Drake D. Domenico is out there too. And uh, we do have a, uh, looks like an injury on the field. So we're going to take a moment here as a Wolfpack defender is down on the ground. All right. Support for Wolfpack football on channel 98.9. Corey Federal Credit Union Sports Stream is provided in part by UTAG's Body Shop and Corey, offering collision repair and refinishing along with frame straightening services, 699 East Smith Street in Corey or at utagsbodyshop.com, 814-663-2562. Once again, we want to thank the uh, UTAG's Body Shop for their support for the Wolfpack football this year. Uh, looks like the uh, Wolfpack defender that was on the ground was uh, 58 Caden Beckrick. He's up on his feet. and uh, Looks like he might have just gotten the wind knocked yep. out of him a little bit, Andy. Lake men are back in the huddle here. They're going to go under center here. 
eye formation off to the right. You know, and Kyle, I mean, I don't really understand, you know, unless you're trying to run the clock out at this point, which I guess with seven minutes you could be doing. Ernest under center, motion to the left by Work Cotter. It's going to be a handoff to number seven right up the middle right there. He's met by Lucas Lasandra right in the backfield. He's going to plow ahead for maybe three yards right there. And a uh, nice fill there by Lucas to just kind of step right up and get some uh, stop him at the line of scrimmage. And if you're, you're Coach Atlas, this may be, um, this may be a long-term, um, you know, I want to I see certain players or I want to see certain plays. Because um, at this point in time, he, what he's trying to do is he's trying to build this program uh, for the remainder of the season. And um, so th this may be, uh, they may have some, some, some players or some um, positions or some, uh, you know, plays that they want to run that, Ernest looking down the field, he's got a man wide open down the 50-yard line. Oh, and it's fumbled out here. And then it's going to be, it's loose on it, and the Wolfpacks are going to jump on it, I think. They're waiting on the call. Turnover, Lakeman. CSP gets beat deep down the field by number four as he hauls in the pass across the 50. But as he's being tackled down there, and I think it might have been uh, Carter Brink or 20. I can't really tell the 10 yeah, and the 20. Was, I think it was Carter. Carter Brink stripped the ball, and then a whole host of uh, CSP defenders were able to recover it. So um, what looked like might have been a 90-yard or a long touchdown run or pass for uh, Lakeman turns into a turnover, and CSP will take over on their own 49. Yeah, really nice throw by Ernest there, and, uh, and uh, number four for... Um uh, Drew Dable uh, was able to get up the seam, and uh, it was a really nice play. Just unfortunately for Wilson, fum fumbled the ball. You know, and uh, Kyle's. You know, one other thing I think they got to talk about Monday for pass coverage is uh, that seam route has been there all game. So something, you know, is you know something is breaking down in the secondary. There is that seam route has been open all day, and yeah, I'm sure and Coach Harper will take a look on Monday and address it. And uh, Looks like Lucas Lashangio is going to come in and play quarterback here, and uh, but the uh, CSP is going to have to take a timeout as it looks like some of the uh, reserves are going to come in and start playing for the CSP, who with a score of 40-14 to 14 lead with 6.15 left in the game. And uh, we'll take this time to finish, or uh, thank some more of our sponsors. Uh, Sherman Livestock uh, is supporting the Wolfpack football team this year on the sports stream, located at 4150 Sherman Mayville Road. Auctions are every Tuesday and Thursday. Contact the Sherman Livestock at 716-499-1362 or look them up on Facebook. And uh, Necker's Company General Store has been a long-term sponsor of Wolfpack Football, providing Climber with groceries, apparel, gift items, and so much more for over 100 years. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Necker's Company General Store for their support. And it uh, looks like the action is going to resume back on the field here as uh, the Lake Men and the Wolfpack take the field. Lucas Lasandro is going to be playing quarterback here. And Andy, you mentioned that seam route on on the defense. Um, yeah, we're we're going to see that Friday night. Uh, that's a play. That's a staple play that Randolph has. Uh, they hand it off to Hind. They hand it off to Hind, and then uh, the Hutchinson um, or Huntington kid uh, will, uh, who's their big tight end, will. Um, will we'll run right right up the seam and uh, they have a little pop pass they like to make to them. So that's something, to your point, we're going to have to get fixed this week. Oh, and, and the uh, <clears throat> looks like number 42 there uh, might have been Bryce Posker on the run. Uh, but, you know, Bryce, that uh, uh, Kyle, the uh, that seam route, when you're a good running team, play action because your yep. linebackers are going, I'm keying, I'm keying, I'm going to go meet the guy at the line of scrimmage to stop the run for two yards. And all of a sudden you take that false step forward, tight end slips behind you, and that's a big play right there. Yep, that's absolutely correct. CSP is going to come out in eye formation right here. Lucas under quarterback. Here's a snap. It's going to be a handoff off to the left side. We cut up the middle right there and across the 50-yard line. And I'll wait to see a number who gets up there as we got some of the reserves in here. And it looks like that is number... So like number six. six. That is uh, Trenton, Fel Trenton Phelps right there uh, with a nice little four-yard carry right there. And that's going to set up third and eight from the uh, Lake Men 48-yard line. 5-12 remaining in the game. CSP leads 40-14. to And what's interesting here, Andy, is, is that uh, Coach Harper is elected to um, substitute out all of his, uh, what I might say, skill positions, but the five guys up front, um, are uh, are staying in place, which you know, anytime you can get them more reps, um, you know, and and they can be they can work together as a unit. Uh, that's a positive. And that's going to be a pitch off to the left side for Phelps. He's going to go across the fifth forty-five and tackle right there. 
That's going to be a four-yard run. So that's going to be fourth and five from the fourth and four from the 45. And looks like Harper is going to send out the punt team right here, as uh, with a 26-point lead with four minutes in the left, he opts to probably punt the ball away and pin them back rather than try and go for it. But, you know, Kyle. You know, I think that's a a result of they only had two weeks of practice. You're often and the thing is, you think about it all summer. Your quarterback and your running backs and your skill positions, they've been playing football for, you know, seven, yeah, eight weeks. Right. The linemen don't get that chance. They can go to seven on seven passing league, and what are they going to do? They can they can stand there, you know. You don't get that uh, reps of running down the field and blocking until you get actually in practice and games. Yep, Good snap right. to Bryce. Kick high up in the air, down to about the 20-yard line right there. It's going to take a Lake or a Lakeman bounce right there back to the 20, and it looks like that's going to be down right there at the 20-yard line right there. And uh, the Lake men will take over at their own 20 with uh, 3.52 remaining in the game. And once again, we want to thank our platinum sponsor this year. Uh, the Corey Federal Credit Union is uh, sponsoring CSP Wolfpack football on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream. The Corey Federal Credit Union would like to wish the Wolfpack the best of luck this year and has been serving the community since 1958. They offer a wide range of financial and banking services for your business or for yourself. The credit union is located at 728 Worth Street in Corey, 56 North Main in Union City, or 315 Main Street in Spartansburg, and always online at www.coreyfcu.org. Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks the Corey Federal Credit Union for their support this year. Lakeman working on the shotgun right here. Ernest back to pass, looking deep. He's got a man over the middle, and it's broken up. Oh, big hit there by, uh, looks like number 22 right there, uh, Drake D. Domenico. As uh, looks like they're going to have a big completion for the late man. He came in and hit the receiver hard. Yeah, it was, uh, you had uh, coverage coverage there by D. Domenico, and you've got uh, Carter Brink playing uh, corner over there, and um, they both uh, did really a really nice job defensively to break that, uh, break that throw up. Lake men leaving their starters in here as they're trying to probably get some momentum going into next week. Ernest is going to come out of the huddle here. He's going to go under center. Jack Mayer still in the backfield. We've got split to the left, split to the right, two tight ends. Mayer under, or, uh, Ernest under center. Takes a snap. It's going to be a fake handoff to Mayer. Looking over the middle. Pot, flush to the right. Looking back across the middle. And it's going to be bounced into there at the 40-yard line and incomplete as I uh, tried to fit a ball in there, number 42. But uh, great coverage there by CSP defense. And uh, Lakeman are going to face third and ten from their own twenty-yard line. Wilson's offensive line doing a nice job against um, CSP's uh, second unit here defensively. They're giving Ernest uh, plenty of time, and uh, really nice job by um, really nice job by the uh, the secondary here. Yeah, you, you know, Kyle. I mean, I know it's first game of the year, and I'm sure the coach will adjust, but. I kind of like their passing game. I know they're kind of behind the eight ball here, but the offensive line has done a nice job. And, uh, you know, in that second quarter, they focused on eight-yard hitches, quick hits. You know, and they actually, you know, moved the ball and scored. And they kind of got away for it for whatever reason. But third and ten here from the own 20-yard line. Ernest shotgun formation, back to throw, looking, looking. He's got a man there about the 25-yard line. And uh, looks like they might have actually tried to run that hook and ladder play again. But uh, it's only going to be a five-yard pickup here. And uh, that sets up uh, fourth and five for Wilson at their own 25-yard line. And I think they're just going to go for it because there's only 3.20 left in the game. And if you don't get it, CSP's probably going to run the ball three times and the game will be over. So yep. Ernest, shotgun formation right here. Looking back to throw. He's got a quick screen out there, number four, and it's incomplete. He throws over his head. And even if he would have caught that, he had two Wolfpack defenders bearing down on him. I don't understand the concept of bubble screens. It's one on two. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, that's they gonna might, be. They might want to go back to the uh, drawing board on the bubble screens. But um, I mean, bubble screens can work. Uh, CSP has showed that uh, seven straight years they've yeah, done it for yeah. success. Just uh, for whatever reason, that Wilson doesn't have any blockers out there when the when they when they run it. And I I think that one there. I think uh, number four, uh, who is. Um, Number four is Drew Dable uh, for Wilson. I think he might have been uh, lined up in, in the backfield, and that might have been a little flare-out. But, but either way, it's uh, one against a lot, and it's not going to go go uh, go too far. So 3.07 remaining in the game. CSP leading 40-14. to 14. Uh, Lucas Lissandro in at quarterback right here. Uh, looks like number 42, uh, and that's going to be Bryce Posker in the backfield, and it's going to be a fumbled snap right there. 
And it uh, looks like Lucas jumps right on it. Be about a two-yard loss right there as the uh, clock runs into three minutes here. I think I think Wilson, as they go throughout the year, uh, Andy, they'll they'll get better. They're going to win some ball games, um, and uh, I know they've got a big uh, non-league game for for them, which is Newfane. Uh, I believe Newfane and Wilson are um, are our rivals or uh, close to our rivals. So um, outside of uh, outside of that being their non-league game, the rest of them are in league, and I. I do think this is a good enough team that they'll win some win some ball games. Yeah, I agree with that one. Then Kyle, they've shown some talent today. Hand off the Posker off the left side. He's got a little room across the 25 there. Uh, so he'll pick up three, maybe four yards on it, as um, you know, as he takes it across that left side of the line there. And uh, you know, Kyle, with two minutes left in the game. Let's talk about next week. You know, Randolph. Um, you know, week two, you hate to have say game of the year for them. You know, I'm not going to say it's game of the year, but it's going to be a big test in a this young season and for this young team because they have experience, they have talent, you know, they're going to be probably the favorite to win the Class D this year, and, uh, you know, you're going to see what you're made of pretty quick. And yeah, I think it's I think it's going to be a good measuring stick for CSP. You know, they that'll give them a good sense of uh, where they're at in their maturation process, and, um, you know, we, we definitely have the athletes. They, they are they're littered with good athletes at Randolph, and they're all experienced uh, seniors, and... Um, you know, so and CSP knows how that is. We we were that a few years ago, and um, and so it's just a matter of um, going in, competing, uh, getting better, and uh, and playing hard, and um, knowing that more than likely you're going to see them again uh, later on in the year. Phelps takes that one across the uh, 30 yard line down to just inside there. So uh, it's going to be about a two yard pickup, and a uh, minute four left in the game. CSP will go for it in fourth down and about around the clock there you know Kyle the other nice thing too is um, it looks like the divisions have kind of gotten better too um, as far as the amount of teams in them there's eight teams in class D this year you know over the years has been like six and you know combined and a few teams actually on combined and look at the divisions this morning it looks like it's a nice balance up and down section six everybody's got eight I think class B has two divisions and uh, you know it's kind of nice to have some balance this year as number six Phelps is going to take it across the right side he pushes his feet I think he's got the first down right there as a really nice run by Trenton Phelps across the right side he's going to pick up eight yards and a first down and a credit to him and the offensive line for pushing through and uh, that'll probably be the last play of the game right there and nice job to uh, have a nice run to end the game yeah great effort there by um, by that young man and uh, was able to get the first down and uh, looks like that will be uh, that will be the end of the game. So CSP with a uh, a 40 to 14 win to kick off their 2022 season. It wasn't pretty, uh, but uh, but they got the job done. And uh, we'll go to the post game show here in a few minutes. We'll name the uh, Karate Player Chevrolet of the game. Uh, you know, Kyle. You know what, what I was worried about in this game is you know you look at our starting lineup was you know some experience, have some seniors, but a lot of sophomores and some juniors. And you go. Are they going to be nervous? Are they going to play slow and decisive? You know how and that's what we want to see because that concerns you. Not the case today. First play of the game was bad. And after that, yeah. you know they played with speed. They played with decisive. Yeah, they made mistakes. We got to work on the turnovers. Uh, but as a coach, I would say I am very happy because they're playing fast. They're playing aggressive. They're playing hard. You know, you, if you just have to fix some mental stuff, that's a lot of times easier than saying I got ten kids out here. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know where to go. They don't coverages. You know. If it's just a mental thing, that's that's not bad. No, that that can be corrected. That can be corrected. I didn't see anything today that would, um, you know, alarm me that we don't have the talent or the speed or the athleticism to hang in uh, in the league. I I think um, what you saw today is a young team. You saw a young team make mistakes. Um, I w- I was really encouraged by seeing a young, you know, after the first play. Uh, got people a little bit rattled. We were able to drive down the field, and um, no, I think I think we, um, you know, I think Car- Coach Harper for the first uh, first game of the year, I think would be pretty happy. Yep, and um, you know, with this time, let's. Uh, I'd like to name. I'm going to name co-players, probably player Chevrolet of the game today. I think uh, Tate Catanese, his first start as a sophomore quarterback, had a really nice game. Uh, threw for over 100 yards, ran in for two touchdowns, had a. Uh, Nine-yard touchdown run in the second quarter and a 20-yard touchdown run in the fourth quarter. 
And then uh, Trent Burkanowski also had a great game today. Three touchdowns, um, finished with over 100 yards rushing, and uh, looked really good and decisive. And uh, so I'm going to call them the co-players of the game for the karate. Yep, and I think those are great, uh, both great, great uh, choices. Trent's coming in as a senior and somebody that uh, is, is a leader on this team and will continue to be throughout the year a valuable piece of, uh, of our offense. And then, you know, from the Tate standpoint, uh, there, there's going to be, there's going to be um, things that he's going to see on tape that he's going to want back. But yep. overall, a really, really nice uh, first game for him. Did uh, got some, uh, did some stuff with his arm. Did some stuff with his legs. Um, some of the, some of the mental like false starts. Um, some of the, you know false starts. They you know those are those are things you you look for in your yep. offense to see. Um, and uh, for the most part, we were pretty good there. And uh, so I think overall, uh, from a Tate standpoint, a really nice, uh, r- n- nice first game, and can build on this as as we go to Randolph next Friday night. Yeah, and the, like the two plays, I want to, you know, like you just said on that first, we saw in the first series right there, he tried to throw the ball in the flat, with some room to run, he kind of overthrew it, and like you know, next time we want to see him put his head down, and get the first down. Later in the second quarter, same play, saw he had a lane, got it, and got the first down. So yep. you're already seeing the maturation of a quarterback just from the first quarter, the fourth quarter on it. And uh, that's always a good sign right there. So, And uh, as you've mentioned a couple times, uh, we'll be back Friday night, September 9th, uh, 7 o'clock uh, start time, I believe, in Randolph. And uh, that's going to be a big game for the CSP team next year. We're really excited uh, to present that next week. So um, you know, we're going to ask you to tune in next week for uh, next week's showdown as CSP moves to 1-0 and on the season and critically to uh, league wins, the 1-0 and in the league. Uh, the first seven games this year are all league games, and then they'll have a non-league game to end the season before playoffs. Uh, but, uh, you know, Kyle, final thoughts today. I mean, personally for me, uh, the offense I thought was very good. Uh, they had 300 yards in the first half. Second half kind of, you know, you know, weren't as sharp, and uh, but they still managed to score 40 points. Anytime you can break 40 is excellent. Um, and, you know, in the defense, I thought the run defense day was uh, very good. I thought um, Travis Owens up front and uh, Anthony Capello, Capella, uh, really stout D tackles. I mean, Wilson was not able to get much yardage up the middle, and it started with his D tackles right there. Yeah, no, I, I, I would agree, and I think, um, yeah, I, I think after a little bit of a shaky start, uh, we settled in. Uh, we've got some work to do um, on uh, the defensive uh, secondary and making sure everybody's on the same page there. But uh, I would agree with you. The defensive line played really well today. And the offensive line, you know, when anytime you put up that many yards, uh, that your offensive line's doing something right. right. And uh, so uh, a credit to, um, to those five. Uh, Donovan, I think it's Donovan Schnars. It's John Watson. It's Grant Lictus. It's... Um, uh, yeah, John we'll, Watson, and I think it's either I think it was uh, Jaden Malecki or Brody Bimber. I'm not sure which one was in there. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, they did a great job today blocking the stuff on it. And uh, to end the uh, post game show, we're just going to recap the scoring today. Uh, Trent Burkanowski had three touchdowns: a two yard touchdown run, a 40 yard touchdown run, and then a three yard touchdown run in the third quarter. Uh, Take Cat knees with a nine yard TD run in the second quarter. And uh, another 20-yard TD run in the fourth quarter. And uh, Austin White ended the scoring uh, with 41 yards to uh, make the score 40-14. to And that's the final score today. Uh, so with that, Kyle, it was a pleasure broadcasting with you today. Uh, the 98.9 Sports Stream will be back next week in Friday, 7 o'clock. And uh, we hope to hear all you Wolfpack fans. Until then, go Wolfpack.